Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, we've got to talk about that brand new trailer that just came out for season two of Camp Cretaceous. The new Jurassic World Netflix series that proved to be extremely popular, but is also looking to be ramping up the scares and suspense in this new season. <laughs> We'll get into talking about all the scenes with the Baryonyx and the Ceratosaurus and the T-Rex and all that cool stuff soon, but first, I think we should go over a little synopsis that EW actually just recently revealed on their own website, which reads as follows, Netflix subscribers won't have to wait long for new episodes of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous. A couple of months after announcing a season two renewal, the streaming platform has set a January 22nd, 2021 premiere date for the next round of episodes as revealed in their exclusive new trailer. The kids are most definitely not alright when we pick back up with them again. Season 1 took us to the other side of Nublar during the events of Jurassic World. A group of teens attending the Camp Cretaceous summer camp were forced to fight for their survival through the treacherous jungles. Now in Season 2, they're stranded. The last boats have departed Nublar, but Darius, Brooklyn, Kenji, and the gang have been left behind. They must find a way to send out a signal to the mainland while navigating the wreckage of what was Jurassic World. And it turns out, they aren't alone on this island. Well, aside from the dinosaurs. And this discovery not only threatens their rescue, but may uncover something even more sinister. So this totally goes into what we actually just recently got done talking about with the whole Manticore subplot that was going on in the first season. For those of you who don't know, Manticore is another genetics company that was on their way to sabotaging Jurassic World's secrets and getting off of the island with some DNA before the events of the last season took place, which makes them the third or maybe even fourth company if you want to count what happened a long time ago in the Evolution of Claire novel to actually try and fight for power within the dinosaur market all over this franchise. We've got Engine, which created the dinosaurs, Biosyn, who are going to be the villains with Dodson in Jurassic World Dominion, and of course we've got what's going on right here. With that being said, the trailer that they've released for this new show is really, really cool in my opinion. We see a lot more Brachiosaurus action, and there happens to be a lot of scenes with the kids just trying to figure out how they're going to survive on this island alone. They make the smart decision by choosing to use some of the more battery-operated equipment to try and boost a signal out to get help, but in doing so, it looks like they're still going to have to wait there for a little while for someone to come back to the island and rescue them. While all of that's going on, they're also going to have to deal with the now free T-Rex that is going to be stalking them about the place, as well as a trio of Baryonyx, which it does look like are operating within some sort of pack or family unit. Now, Mattel has actually released toys for these Baryonyx, naming them Grim, Chaos, and Limbo. And we all kind of suspected them to be some sort of big villains for the new show when it came to, you know, actually trying to eat and kill these kids. But another interesting element that I totally didn't see happening happens to also be the fact that we're getting a brand new ceratosaurus in this show totally different color scheme that we've never seen before and it looks like it's actually going to be chasing them just as much if not more during the course of these episodes this is also around the time that we see that flare get shot out and the kids realize they're not alone on this island. Now, they're totally taking the Lost World Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park 3's stories and sort of blending them together for this cartoon series, which is very interesting in my opinion because with this taking place right before the events of Fallen Kingdom, or at least a few years before the events of Fallen Kingdom, I'm not so sure how they're going to follow up with all of these separate stories when it comes to season three or four or whatever continues after this. Manticore wasn't a part of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom's plot, at least as far as we know, and Dominion is still two years off. With that being said, this new series, Camp Cretaceous, showing us lots of T-Rex action as it tries to attack Parasaurolophus, hunt the kids down, go about and roar all over the place in Main Street as it usually does, it's all looking very, very fun and very, very cool in my opinion. Personally, Personally, I feel like every trailer they release just makes the show look better and better and better. And then I finally get to watch it and I'm like, yeah, it's all right. It's pretty cool. I like that. It's better than I expected. Now, when it comes for season two, I'm actually really, really interested to see how they handle everything because personally, I have no idea what's going to happen. But this does look like a darker season, which is weird me saying that because everybody thought Camp Cretaceous was going to be this cotton candy fun little kid joyride. And then they watched the show and saw all those people get eaten and killed and 
All the terror and suspense that was happening with these kids while they were trying to evade the Mosasaurus and the Indominus and Toro the Carnotaurus, which, by the way, was not in this trailer either. So what happened to that dinosaur? I mean, I know it got severely burned and it was all bloodied and bruised after the events of the last eight episodes, but are we not going to see it at all? I'm kind of shocked to not even have a small tease or glimpse in this trailer. Maybe he died. I don't know. But uh, as for season two so far... This is looking to be really, really cool. It's still a children's show. It's still a Jurassic Park Netflix series aimed at kids. But wow, the fact that it's canon, the fact that they're doing so much to make it as enjoyable as they can for everybody, and the fact that it's not terrible, uh, really, really make me happy. I'm really excited to see where they take this series, and I'm excited to see how it ties into Jurassic World Dominion. Now that we've got Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler and Ian Malcolm joining Owen Grady and Claire Deering with dinosaurs in the mainland and Dodson's in it, this series is expanding in ways really, really cool in my opinion, and personally, I just can't wait for January 22nd. Now, with all of that being said, I want to hear what all of your opinions are on the subject matter. What do you think about the brand new trailer for season two of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous? What are your expectations? What are your thoughts on season one? What are your thoughts on where this could go? And how do you think these kids will get off the island? Also, do you think Manticore might try to kill them? Because, while well, it looks like they're trying to save them during that little flare sequence, I'm pretty sure a genetics company that's holding one of these kids' families hostage isn't gonna be super nice. Anyways, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that all of you continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video, and hope you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like, and hope that you'll all consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you all in the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.